Mahihima Nikaya. Middle Length Sayings. Translated by I.B. Horner. Sutta Central.net. Kilago Palaka Sutta. 34 Lesser Discourse on the Cowherd Thus Have I Heard, At One Time the Lord Was Staying Among the Vajis at Ukasila on the banks of the river Ganges. While he was there the Lord addressed the monks, saying, Monks. Revered one, these. Monks answered the Lord in assent. The Lord spoke thus. Formerly, monks, an incompetent cowherd of Magadha in the last month of the rains at harvest time, without considering the hither bank of the river Ganges, without considering the further bank, drove his cattle across to the further bank in Suvideha at a place where there was no ford. Then, monks, the cattle huddled together in the middle of the stream of the river Ganges, got into difficulties and misfortune there. What was the cause? It was, monks, that that incompetent cowherd of Magadha in the last month of the rains at harvest time, without considering the hither bank of the river Ganges, without considering the further bank, drove the cattle across to the further bank in Suvideha at a place where there was no ford. Even so, monks, any recluses or Brahmins who are unskilled about this world, unskilled about the world beyond, unskilled about Mara's realm, unskilled about what is not Mara's realm, unskilled about death's realm, unskilled about what is not death's realm, whoever think they should listen to. These, recluses and Brahmins, and put their faith in them, that will be for a long time for their woe and anguish. Once upon a time, monks, a competent cowherd of Magadha in the last month of the rains at harvest time, having considered the hither bank of the river Ganges, having considered the further bank, drove his cattle across to the further bank in Suvideha at a place where there was a ford. First of all he drove across those bulls who were the sires and leaders of the herd, these, having cut across the stream of the Ganges, went safely beyond. Then he drove across the sturdy bullocks and young steers, these, also, having cut across the stream of the Ganges, went safely beyond. Then he drove across the half-grown bull calves and heifers, these two, having cut across the stream of the Ganges, went safely beyond. Then he drove across the weaker calves, these two, having cut across the stream of the Ganges, went safely beyond. At that time there was a young newborn calf which, by following the lowing of its mother, also cut across the stream of the Ganges and went safely beyond. What was the cause of this? It was, monks, that that cowherd of Magadha in the last month of the rains at harvest time, having considered the hither bank of the river Ganges, having considered the further bank, drove his cattle across to the further bank in Suvideha at a place where there was a ford. Even so, monks, any recluses or Brahmins who are skilled about this world, skilled about the world beyond, skilled about Mara's realm, skilled about what is not Mara's realm, skilled about death's realm, skilled about what is not death's realm, whoever think they should listen to these, recluses and Brahmins, and put their faith in them, that will be for a long time for their welfare and happiness. Monks, like unto those bulls who were the sires and leaders of the herd, and who, having cut across the stream of the Ganges, went safely beyond, are those monks who are perfected ones, the cankers destroyed, who have lived the life, done what was to be done, laid down the burden, attained their own goal, the fetters of becoming being utterly destroyed, and who are freed by perfect profound knowledge. For these, having cut across Mara's stream, have gone safely beyond. Monks, like unto those sturdy bullocks and young steers who, having cut across the stream of the Ganges, went safely beyond, are those monks who, by destroying the five fetters binding to this lower world, are of spontaneous uprising, and being ones who attain Nibbana there, are not liable to return from that world. For these also, having cut across Mara's stream, will go safely beyond. Monks, like unto those half-grown bull calves and heifers who, having cut across the stream of the Ganges, went safely beyond, are those monks who, by destroying the three fetters, by reducing attachment, aversion, and confusion, are once returners who, having come back again to this world once only, will make an end of anguish. 
for these also, having cut across Mara's stream, will go safely beyond. Monks, like unto those weaker calves who, having cut across the stream of the Ganges, went safely beyond, are those monks who, by destroying the three fetters, are stream attainers, not liable for the abyss, assured, bound for. Awakening. For these also, having cut across Mara's stream, will go safely beyond. Monks, like unto that young newborn calf which, by following the lowing of its mother, also cut across the stream of the Ganges and went safely beyond, are those monks who are striving for Dhamma, striving for faith. For these also, having cut across Mara's stream, will go safely beyond. Now I, monks, am skilled about this world, skilled about the world beyond, skilled about Mara's realm, skilled about what is not Mara's realm, skilled about death's realm, skilled about what is not death's realm. To those who think they should listen to me and place faith in me, there will be welfare and happiness for a long time. Thus spoke the Lord, the welfarer having said this, the teacher then spoke thus. This world, the world beyond, are well explained by the one who knows. And what is accessible by Mara and what is not accessible by death? By the self-awakened one, comprehending, thoroughly knowing every world. Opened is the door of the undying for reaching security, Nibbana. Cut across is the stream of the evil one, shattered, destroyed. Let there be abundant rapture, monks, let security be reached. Lesser Discourse on the Cowherd, the Fourth. <laughs>